कोई भी शुभ अनुष्ठान विवाह और सर्व इत्यादि नहीं करते तो इस प्रकार जो कि चातुर्मास व्रत होता है भक्त लोग तीन चार महीना में भगवान के दिन से आराधना करते इसलिए चातुर्मास व्रत कहा जाता है और चातुर्मास में भी खाते व्रत ऊर्जा व्रत दामोदर व्रत इसे कहा गया इस प्रकार इससे आगे जो कि देखा जाता है आज विशेष करके सृष्टि महाराज उनकी तिरोभाव इस तिरोभाव तिथि में आज सभी लोग प्रातः काल वैष्णवों ने भाषण दिया और बाबा जी महाराज जी के बीच में कुछ अपना भक्त को भी रखा है उनके जीवन से हम तो हम लोगों ने श्रवण किया फिर हम लोग अभी फिर से श्रवण करेंगे तो हम सबसे पहले हमारे मंत्र में उपस्थित श्री श्री श्याम रानी माता जी वे अपना कुछ अनाउंसमेंट के साथ और कुछ गोष्ठ सुधार को अवधि महाराज जी के विषय में भी प्रकाश करें And at that time, he said that this song 
will become immersed in internal consciousness. Just like as a stone is glorifying Sri Raghunanda Goswami, that sometimes Raghunanda Goswami is calling out to Radharani that you're always absorbed in pastimes, in the clinches where you beloved Krishna, where you totally captivate his mind. Sometimes you captivate his mind in Sevakunj, sometimes in Nidavan. So this song is very cryptic. That is, it's just a few words, but Srila Gurudev has opened it up by showing us how, as a follower of Srila Raghunath Das Goswami and his prayers for the darshan, and not just darshan of Srimanthi Radhika, but darshan for the service. For example, Srila Raghunath Das Goswami prays that when will I be able to call my head the highest part of my body? That I can really call it a head. Otherwise, it's not a head. It's just a dead matter. When can I call my head actually the highest part of my body by getting on my head the uh, pollen, the red dust, mixed with the laugh from your lotus feet. And that goes to the pastime. So Srila Gorka showed us Babaji Maharaj's uh, prayers, O oh, Radhe Radhe, you are the great jewel of the Astasavis, Radhe Radhe, give me your darshan and save my life. This is all mixed with very uh, deep remembrances of pastimes. So, Krishna came late, and the mantras are there. That is, Srila Gorbhi showed us Babaji Maharaj in his mantra form, Srila Raghunath Das Goswami in his mantra form as Raghi Mandri. Krishna has come late, and Radharani, as you see her in the state of Kunch painting, and she's saying, Oh, how attractive you look. You look just like Lord Shiva. <laughs> who is a combination of red and blue. Because I see that you have red marks and blue marks on your face. Why? Because when Krishna came, he was so absorbed in Srimati Radhika that all her black mascara and lipstick came onto him. And she's so much in line that she captivates him. She captivates him some spontaneously by her mind saying, yes, I know where you got those marks from, so you could just go back to that same place and be with that beloved. But meanwhile, Krishna got the marks from looking at Radharani and just immersing himself in thoughts of her. So then he wants to uh, make it up to her, so she says, all right, you can paint my feet with red lap. So Krishna is trembling, his heart is trembling, his hand is trembling, so he makes, he makes the marks like a jig jack, like an art, because he's trying to make a painting, or he's trying to write his name, thinking that I'll be there by having my name there. But because his heart is trembling, his hand is trembling, he does it in a zigzag way. So you can imagine the art of Krishna's heart trembling. So Radharani says, oh, you're just a neophyte painter, and she glances over to Ravi Mantri, that is Raghunath Das Goswami, to teach Krishna how to paint. So then Ravi Mantri grabs the paintbrush from Krishna, gives Krishna so much anxiety, and begins to paint Radharani's feet. So then she begins laughing, Ravi Mantri, so Radharani pretends that she's upset with Ravi Mantri, and kicks her in the head. So Ravi Mantri says, Oh, wonderful, now I understand service of the government. Now I'm going to tell all the other Mantris. First she looks in the mirror and sees that the scene is gone. Her staff is gone, Radharani is gone, Krishna is gone, the scene is gone, and now she's immersed in separation and praying for that past time to come again. 
So when Shula, before we show that Swamiji Maharaj is praying, that Shula Ramana Das Goswami is sometimes in Yudhavan, sometimes in Taliban, sometimes in Kamalavan, Shula Gorbhi Shoda Svavati Maharaj is uh, engrossed in the pastimes of Shula Ravina Das Goswami, praying in separation to get back these pastimes. They seem like very happy remembrances and talks. Like for example, in the first verse of Beloved Chris Manjali, Shula Ravina Das Goswami prays to Shula Rupa Goswami, Shila uh, Rupa Mantri, that you're known as the most chaste girl in this land of Raj. Yet I see that although your husband is gone for a few days in the tour of the White House, I see that you have a big bite mark on your lips. Did some big parrot come and bite them? So this sounds like a joke, but it's not a joke for they said. He's praying in intense grief to get that, to get back that pastime. That pastime happened in Antrik Dasha, and now he's in Vaidir Dasha, and weeping to be again allowed to enter that pastime. When Sri Rupa Manjri is watching the pastimes of Radha and Krishna, and they are shuffling the pastimes in Sailor Punch, and Rupa Mandri is thinking that there's no better sight for the eyes than this pastime of Radha and Krishna's discussion. So where is my Radha Mandri? Here is the um, love of Guru that he doesn't want to just enjoy the pastimes himself. He goes to the material world to collect souls just as Shri Ravanath Goswami did, just as Shri Gorbhishwara Sabaji Maharaj did. So now Rupa Mandri is thinking, where is my Rati Mandri? She must see this scene to protect, to protect her eyes. So she leaves the scene and goes to look for Rati Mandri, who has just finished making garlands and preparing unguents for uh, Krishna to put on Radharani. And then they meet in the middle, and Rupa Mantri grabs Rati Mantri and brings her to that scene. And at that time, Rati Mantri sees that Rupa Mantri has the bite mark, not from any amorous exchange with Krishna, but because all the Mantris being touched at Baba Ishtakmika and having no interest in having a direct relationship with Krishna, what happened to Radharani Sri Krishna happened to the lips of Rupa Mantri, and happened to the lips of Rati Mantri, and happened to the lips of Srila Gorkishore Das Maharaj in his Mantri form. So um, I wanted to show you, because we have printed some uh, we have printed some very small state of uh, posters on top of the man. And they're very, very inexpensive. You can get them right at the book table, and you can see a sample of how a very, very decorated altar is. So you can experience them. They're still still on the wall there. So Shula Gorbachev Das Bhavati Maharaj is one of these mantris following us here, Sri Rati Mantri. Sometimes in the Kunja, with serving Radha and Krishna, and sometimes, like here, guarding, when Krishna is coming, just like a cat, very stealthily and shy, because he came late. And Rati Mantri is saying, first tell me where you came from, then I'll consider whether to let you in or not. So Krishna makes up some story, and then Rati Mandri says that you can just go right back where you came from. We're not letting you bring my son in his cringe. And she's following Rupa Mandri, and their follower is, maybe you can say her Mandri name, I don't know it, but Gorbhishwara Svabhaji Maharaj in his Mandri form. 
So all of these activities of chastising those so-called followers of uh, preferring the stench of a latrine over the stench of uh, mundane allurements, that is, somebody, people coming again and again to bother him for material blessings, is the perfect example for us to follow. Two, just as he said about Sri Raghunath Das Goswami, his Gurudev, his Shishi Gurudev, that he's always sleeping, sometimes one hour a night. And what is he doing when he's sleeping? Thinking of Radha Govinda and dreaming about the pastimes of Radha and Govinda. Not interested in any fancy clothes, but rolling on the dust of Vrindavan, wearing very old, worn and worn clothes. So everything that his Guru gave is an example for us to pray for. And we see that our Guru gave, in the name of an illness, in the name of so many things, is actually also a Prani Bhakta, a Manjari in Goloka Vrindavan, with all the Asthita Prabhas, with all the um, powerful um, mystic powers. And at the same time, He's going through these three stages of existence because he's also in the Anugatya or the Siddhartha succession by Siddhanta and Mood of Srila Gorka Shorda's Babaji Maharaj. So to remember him more and his past times more, we have the big posters outside and now brand new. And we have 500 of each so you can, I know you're going back to your countries, so you can get 10, 20, 30 and distribute it to your countrymen, to your city men. Thank you, Lord Freeman and the We learn from the teachings of Mahaprabhu to 
See, we are not just one. There are two types of renunciation. One is called market like or monkey like renunciation. Therefore, market like a monkey 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 no material possession and his heart is full of the impressions of thousands and thousands of mighty monkeys. Therefore, this is also called Falgu pronunciation. Falgu River, we went there last month. Very, very shallow. And in the dry season, there's no water to find here at all. When you dig in the sand, then so much water is running there. Therefore, this Sushka Vairagya, Margaret Vairagya, Falgu renunciation, Falgu Raya, this is not the renunciation of Sri Gaurishwara Bhavaji Maharaj. Neither was his renunciation like that of the Maya Bhavis. Because the Vaishnavas, we never practice these types of renunciation, we always practice with the Vaishnavas. Anasakta Visaya Yataya, we know that they live by the Krishna Sammakta Yukta Vaishnavas, to utilize everything in the service of Bhagavan, this is called Yukta Vairagya. Therefore, Sri Gopsala Kauri Maharaj, his renunciation was not that of artificial detachment from that which is related to Sri Krishna. At one time, Sri Mahatma Swami Maharaj, in his hand he had so much, like $50,000. And he was chastising the Sagasis, you have to learn to be renounced. Means we don't do anything for our own sense gratification, everything for the satisfaction of Sri Krishna. Therefore, Sri Gopeshwara Bhavani Maharaj's renunciation was of the highest type. He was so much absorbed in the service of Sri Gaur, Gauri Thai, Sri Radha Krishna, he had no time for material enjoyment. Therefore, his Vairagi was actually a manifestation of intense anuga intense attachment to the fear of Shimani Therefore, when he was hungry, why did he waste time even doing mother curry? Even begging, so he would just take some dirt from Radhakum and eat that some clay. Therefore, we don't know much about Shimani Maharaj's early life. Some say he came from Bangladesh. He came and spent so many years in Sri Vrindavan now. And we heard how he did Rajan, Sri Shamarani, the Kotai Go, the Mamoni, the Mamoni. He would roam here and there. Actually, this Kirtan was first sung by Krishna himself. Krishna would grow from forest to forest. Where is Ramarani? She has made a friend. Mamoni Maharaj, following the footsteps of Sri Bhagavan, was coming. He would chant his Kirtan so loud. People on the other side of the Ganga could hear him. So when Bhakti Siddhartha Shastri Thakur had first darshan, she got to show the Prabhupada Maharaj, he heard that kirtan and he wrote it down. So through that part of the kirtan is coming to us. So Sivari Maharaj never tolerated any form of hypocrisy. Therefore, we should not imitate the activities of God to the Prabhupada Maharaj. If we did not keep in mind that he would die, there were these renunciations with an extreme, like the Goswami's Patka, Purana, Vishnaya, Sadamba, Rapati, Sarana, Sadamba, Udva, Dina, Ganesh, Kukurana, Kokita, Kantashita, Koki, Bhava, Sangha, Hathi, Nahami, Kaurava, Dhatna, Mohamante, Rukh, Shanatana, Rajuri, Rukh, Shijin, Bhava. Sri Bhavaji Maharaj, especially in Navagri, he manifested the past life, he would not have any mother to put here. He would live on the up, underneath the mountain, both, and he would live under that top order, the dead of night, and the chant, and he now very, very loud. That was one of his main teachings, we should chant the holy name loud. These days we see many devotees, what are they doing at home? Therefore, God is not coming out very loudly, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Sometimes when Swati of Gauranga and Radha Krishna would not come in his heart, 
He would go to bed even they know there and shout, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Sri Krishna Chaitanya. Until blood would come from his throat. He would not be satisfied that again he had a darshan of Sri Krishna. Therefore, who can ever take such a great person out? When he was hungry, he would eat clay from him. Sometimes he would do money carrying. When he needed a new cloth, he would go to the grave yard. The summons of the Croatian guard would take cloth off the dead body and wear it. So the highest type of renunciation as manifested by the ghost bodies was manifested in Sri Gopachara and Babaji <coughs> So, of course, very much important one time, one king from Kasimaga. He came to see Gopachara Babaji and said, we are having a Vaishnav festival, so please be kind and come to my house and you can be in some fun. Like Mahan, who did not think much, he tried to do speak, what they will speak, if they spoke good or if they not speak good. Then Bhagavad Gita said, I think this is not a good idea. Because if I go to your house, your palace, I will see so much material enjoyment, then I will also hear collecting things. Then you and me will become in competition, then our friendship will be broken. So I think it's not good that I go to your palace. But instead, you should give up everything completely and come and sit here in my budget for here. And don't worry about what, I will give you some profit and any food you will cut in half. And you and me, we can happily spend our life chanting the holy names of the bank of the country. And that thing we can be kind of So he did not accept. One time, one man, but again and again, come to Bhagavad Gita. Maharaj, give me money. Maharaj, give me money. One time, Bhagavad Gita became angry. He took up his coffin, no coffin, no, take mercy. <laughs> then Guru Maharaj one time said, What bigger mercy can the Guru give to someone than giving them something else? There is no bigger mercy in the spiritual body. You give up all material enjoyment, engage in the pleasure of Radha Krishna. What more mercy is there? That person who rejects such mercy, how much they are unfortunate, how much they are wretched. So Babaji Maharaj never tolerated that. He also, on occasion, manifested his own knowing nature. Sometimes we think Gurudev is seeing, Gurudev doesn't know what's happening. But he knows everything perfectly because he is manifestation of Parma. He may not manifest that all knowing nature to you, but he knows everything. So there was one post Swami, he would go here and there, preaching Bhagavatam. And there was he had something like, Secretary. Then one time in the middle of the night, Babaji Maharaj stood up and was shouting, Look, look, what hypocrisy, what hypocrisy. That was Swami is having sex with that widow over there. Babaji Maharaj was living 10, 15 miles away and he knew what he saw everything. So he never tolerated this type of hypocrisy, this type of transgression of Vaishnava. Especially the renounced God, how much careful one must be. Babaji Maharaj manifested that. One time he heard somebody passed that to Babaji Maharaj. If anyone had asked him, I want to give donations, and he would say, Yes, yes, please pass your stool here. <laughs> Why did that stuff would come the materialist would not come and visit him? He would go here and then collecting fish bones, and he would put them outside his hut. Then people would come, Babaji Maharaj, eating fish, hi, hi. And they would leave him alone, and inside he would be happily chanting the holy names. So very much important is his association with Srikabhakti Siddhartha Saraswati Thakur. We know that Sri Vimal Prashad, Ramachari, he saw the Kitsu Kainam and Kurma Mantra from Sri Bhakti Nagar Thakur, Sakhar Goswami. But when he saw the exalted character of Sri Gopishana Bhakti he became attracted to him. And again and again he asked Babaji Maharaj, please give me initiation, please give me initiation. Then Babaji Maharaj, he would say, oh, you are a very rich and exalted person. You such a learned you are from a wealthy family, the son of the great devotee Sri Bhaktivedanta Thakur. He said, Saraswati Thakur, he was 16 languages, he was expert in physics, astrology, mathematics. So 
Someone brought me by and saw somebody talk about Ken who asked me for his station and then he said, Oh, I cannot do anything without the permission of Gauranga no Mahaprabhu. So I will ask him, then I will give him up your initiation. Then Prabhupada came back the next day. Prabhu, what did Mahaprabhu say? Oh, I forgot to ask. Come back later. In this way again and again, Sri Saraswati Thakur came for to get initiation. The Kauri Maharaj ignored him so many times. Go, go, go. Then Sri Saraswati Thakur began telling, following Chandraya Brahma. Then he harvested full moon, uh, one handful of food, prasad. The, the next day, two handfuls, three, third day, three handfuls. After the full moon, and then when the full moon decreased, eating once a day. She became very, very thin. Then she tapo, but to her bread. Oh, Baba Ji Maharaj, you will not give mercy to Vimal Prasad. Then when she, Bapila, when she brought each other, Baba Ji Maharaj, with austerities, and his heart melted and he gave an initiation. But he never gave initiation to any other disciple. Then by the direct inspiration of the chief, Sarasput, of the chief, Gokshara, the Bhavadi Maharaj, Sir Prabhupada began saying, Kriva and Kalimala every day. And by seeing that she Gokshara, the Bhavadi Maharaj, who became very happy, she judged, she Gokshara, the Bhavadi Maharaj, and said, I see the renunciation of Guru Prabhupada in my Guru. Sri Gokhasana Bhavi 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 So such an intimate relationship was there. But many people could not understand Sri Gokhasana Bhavi Bhavi One time one man gave him a chaga and five rupees. So Bhavi Bhavi was manifesting the past times of blindness. They were again and again he was feeling the chaga. Oh, very nice. And he was checking his clock. Oh, five rupees is still there. Again and again, the Chara five rupees, the Chara five rupees. Then one man was critical of Sri Gokhasana Prabhu Maharaj. Oh, look how much he's attached. Nice Chara five rupees. He's meant to be renounced. When Sri Saraswati Thakur heard that, he became like a tiger. Oh, Rasu, you cannot understand the exalted nature of Vaishnava. He's encouraging that man in his Vaishnava self. Guru Maharaj says the same thing. We do Guru Dev some nice. We cook a nice cake, or give Guru a nice cloth. And Guru goes, oh, I have so many cloth like this. And how much you would not be encouraged in devotion. They were just to encourage that man to say, oh, to Vaishnava, it's very much feeling the chakra and feeling the five rupees. But next day he gave the chakra to someone else, and the five rupees to someone else anyway. So, but not very hard, not very easy to understand how Vaishnava delays, what they say. Because they are under the nature of Brajit Prem. So everything they do is under that atmosphere of yoga mind. And how we can understand that, we cannot understand that it easily. And on this day when Sri Gokhasana Prabhupada Maharaj left, before he left, he spoke to his disciples. In this body I could not do bhajan of the Lord. Therefore when I leave this body, you should tie my feet to a horse and drag me to the streets of Nanguri. So when this body touches the dust of the dharma, my body, this body will be purified. So when Sri Gokhasana Bhavati Maharaj on this day entered the Nityadila, then some foolish so-called followers of Bhavati Maharaj began to tie his so to speak to a horse, and they were thinking we will drag Bhavati Maharaj through the Nauru. <coughs> that time Sri Saraswati Thakur came there. That time was the first dust of Bhavati Maharaj Puri Maharaj with Sri Gokhasana Bhavati the Prabhupada became like a tiger. Oh, you, can, you are fools, you cannot understand the exalted nature of my Gurudev's words. Out of humility, he is saying like this, he could not do Vajra. But I think even Sri Krishna, he would carry the body of my Gurudev with great respect. How Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would personally carry the not body, the bigger house, Sri Haridas Thakur and dance in the street. Then there was a big fight. Because so many disciples, they come to Gurudev, they say, Gurudev has so much money, Gurudev has nice buildings, Gurudev has so much name and fame, my son Gurudev, so much magical kind of thing, Jai Gurudev to my Jai Jai. They come to Gurudev with ulterior motives. 
There were those who also believed if we had this money of God to the body of God, you know, I'll answer them. So I went to the army and go. And so I put it on board. He came there like a tiger. Oh, my Babaji, my Gorbachev's Babaji Mahal, my Guru Dev, he was a strict Nazian. And I am his one and only disciple. And they said, How are you going to be the son of the Babaji Mahal? He is a Nazian. And you are only brother child. Oh yes, Sanyasi, he is Sanyasi, you are Sanyasi, you are not Sanyasi, you are not Sanyasi. And Sanyasi said, I am like one Brahmachari. Therefore I don't mind if any pure Brahmachari touches the body of Babaji Maharaj, the Sri Vikram. Okay, if any of you Babajis have not touched a woman in six months, then you can take his Sri Vikram and do some money. Then the police were there, but what happens if they lie and take the body? And it's probably as if they will be destroyed completely. So if none of you have touched the woman in six months, you can come. Oh, Baba Ji, you are afraid. If none of you have touched the woman in three months, come. No one can. If any of you have not touched the woman in six, one week, come. Then finally, if any of you have not thought of a woman since last night, come. No one can. Then Prabhupada took the Sri Vikrahara himself and performed the Samadhi of Sri Gorbachev as well. In due course of time, the Grand Vashiv, the now part of Guru Dev, Sri Bhakti Pratyan Kesavara, he took the Samadhi remains and transplanted them to Mayapur. It was Sri Bhavati Maharaj gave so much mercy to our part of Guru Dev, that mercy also flowing to them. So one more past time in my life, so many billions of them. I hope no one's gone this morning. One man came with a, he was with Babaji Maharaj. But after some time he left, and when he came back, he was married. Huh? And he came and said, Babaji Maharaj, I have one Krishna Das. Please bless us and together we can do one. And Babaji Maharaj became very great. Oh, you are so much fortunate to get the son of a Vaishnavi. You don't know how rare this Vaishnavi is in this world. Every day you should bow to her, cook for her, wash her cloth, and after she has taken prasad, you must be her remnants. And if you try to enjoy your Krishna you will go to hell and be completely destroyed. <laughs> so that man began shaking. And he ran away with his dust and went back to Gordon and Ram. So Bhagavad Maharaj's character is very exalted. His budget is very exalted. So even one drop of their character, their life, will come in our heart. Then we are very much fortunate. So today remember Sri Gold shows Bhagavad Maharaj. His exalted qualities and his main contribution to us is his disciples, Sri Bhakti Siddhartha Sahaja in Tampa. So many Bhagavad Gita in Malakur, they give arguments, hey, what proof is there that Sarah Kuntari or took Diksha from Sri Gold shows Bhagavad Gita? So actually, this is one type of madness. If I ask any of you, what proof you took this from Guru what proof you took this from Guru what do you want? A video can? A recorder? A DVD? A sign of autobiography? What do they want? Then we know that Sri Bhakti Siddhartha Sahaja was talking about the real part of Gopi Sahaja Bhakti Maharaj because he would do the same budget as him. Not more, not less. Guru Maharaj always said, I don't make disciples, I make Guru. Therefore, God is not going to be able to produce such an exalted personality of Sri Bhakti Siddhartha and Saraswati Thakur. We not only manifest the renunciation of the Bhajan of Sri Bhakti Siddhartha and Saraswati but to be teaching to the Christian throughout the whole world. Sri Bhakti Siddhartha and Saraswati
राधे ए गोपियो मेरे को इस प्रेम समुद्र में अकेला मत छोड़ देना नहीं तो मैं खपेड़े ही खाते रहूंगा इसीलिए वो परसों परसों प्रधान आया ना कि राधा जी का कंधे का गोपियो के कंधे का आश्रय लेकर भगवान राम लीला करते हैं उनके कंधे पे हाथ रख के इसलिए राम लीला करते हैं कि गोपियां मेरे को इस प्रेम समुद्र में छोड़ पा जाए उन गोप छोड़कर बाबा जी महाराज तो ये राधे थे गोथाए को प्रेम मई राधे राधे तो उसको साधारण लोग कहाँ समझ सकता है इतना बहरा कि आजकल के परिवेश में तो निश्चित रूप से संभव नहीं है आज तो कलयुग का ऐसा दिन है कि हर घर में सब घरों में टेलीविजन मोबाइल यहाँ तक कि बाप बेटे बेटी का सबका अलग अलग बैंक अकाउंट है हैं? और सब अपने अपने रूप से निर्भर हैं। पिताजी कहेंगे कि मेरे को बेटा किसी काम में विघ्न न डाले बेटे कहेंगे मेरे को पिताजी किसी काम में विघ्न न डाले किंतु भगवान के रस्ते पे चले तो ये सारी समस्याएं स्वतः ही हल हो जाती है क्योंकि तो एक व्यागवान व्यक्ति को कुछ भी नहीं चाहिए भगवान सब उसकी भगवान सब उसकी व्यवस्था करते हैं तो भगवान जो योग निद्रा में जो लीला करते हैं वो आज के दिन देव उत्थान एकादशी के दिन वो अपनी निद्रा को तोड़ते हैं और आज के दिन अधिकतर तोड़ ये संप्रदाय कार्तिक व्रत का समापन करते हैं आज के दिन उनका उद्यापन होता है किंतु शिला परम गुरुदेव ने विचार दिया कि ये तो विष्णु पंचक लग गया विष्णु पंचक लगने से ये उद्घापन की बात हमारी समझ में नहीं आती तो उन्हीं की परंपरा का पालन करते हुए हम उद्घापन अपना जो करेंगे वो पूर्णिमा के दिन करेंगे और हमारा श्री गुरु वैष्णव के चरणों में ये निवेदन है कि हमारा ये व्रत पूर्ण हो और हम लोग भविष्य में और लोगों को भी साथ लेकर आए और परिक्रमा करें गौर विमान